Hello, keep coming. We've got room for plenty more. So good to see everybody today. I hope your week at school has been amazing. <laughs> Come on, Grace. Good to see you. Good, good, good. Hello there. Hey, if you're in a spot where you can't see really well, scoot in just a little bit because I need you to be able to see kind of Miss Diane in my lap today. We're going to put something for you to be able to see right there, Charlotte. There you go. Front row seat. Perfect. Today, I'm going to need a little bit of help. And let me tell you what the challenge is. I love it. Look how they're ready to help. They don't even know what the challenge is. I love it. I'll, I'll uh, take your hands in just a minute. Let me tell you the challenge first, okay? I have for Miss Diane, first of all, a towel, because this is not our first rodeo, is it? Okay. Secondly, I have a bucket of water. Miss Diane is going to hold. And then I have an empty bucket, okay? And I need a helper to see if they can scoop from the full bucket to the empty bucket using only the tool that I give you. Who is up for the challenge? Oh, lots of helpers up for the challenge. Okay, let's start with Eli. Eli, will you come sit right here in between Miss Diane and I? Sit right here. All right, we're ready. Okay, Eli, I have for you a fork. Yeah, a mega, super duper sized fork. Here you go, Eli. I want you to scoop the water from the full bucket to the empty bucket. And the camera may want to zoom in right now and get this scoop. Eli, what's happening? It's not working. It's not working. Okay, all right, fine, Eli. Good try, Eli. You may go sit back down. Okay, clearly this tool is not going to work. I need a second one. I need a second one. Okay, Charlotte, come sit right here. Don't worry. If you don't get a turn for this, you'll get a turn for something at Kids Court today. Charlotte, will you pop up one more chair, one more step for me? Okay, here you go, Miss Diane. Okay, Charlotte, you ready? I have my next tool. My next tool is a knife. Don't worry. It's not very sharp, but I still want you to be careful with it. I need you to use this knife to scoop the water from that bucket to this bucket. Ready? Go, Charlotte. Try again, try again, Charlotte. Must have been a bad scoop. Oh, is it working? Oh, she gave it away. Okay, okay, so the, the knife is not working either. Let's use a spoon. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Thank you, Charlotte. You may go sit back down. Let's see. How about Olivia? Come sit right here. And Olivia. I have for you something that Charlotte suggested. I have for you a spoon, but this is not just any spoon. This is a deep spoon. It's called a ladle. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, Olivia, see if you can scoop the water with the ladle from the full bucket to the empty bucket. Check it out. Did y'all see that scoop? Whoa. Try again. Let's just for good measure, let's make sure this ladle is working properly. <gasps> it's working. We found it. We found the tool that works. Thank you, Olivia. You may go back to your spot. I'm going to give all this to you, Miss Diane. Do you know why the spoon worked, but the knife and the fork didn't? Because why, Brooks? Why, Brooks? It didn't have rods. True. That could be why. Let me tell you why. The spoon was moving in what it was made for. Move in what you're made for. Look at your neighbor and say, move in what you're made for. You too, adults. Look at your neighbor and say, move in what you're made for. You see, the knife is not made to scoop water. The fork is not made to scoop water. The spoon is made to scoop water. It was moving in what it was made for. It's kind of like, have you ever seen a fish climb a tree? No. Have you ever seen a giraffe swimming in the ocean? No, because they're moving in what they are made 
4. If you heard the scripture reading today, you may have heard the story about the disciples. And the disciples were out teaching and preaching and moving in what they were made for. And one day, some folks kind of got upset with the disciples and said, Look, not everybody's getting fed. The food at mealtime, people are missing out on the food they need at mealtime. And the disciples thought, we are covered up. We need help. And so they went to some friends and they said, listen, is anybody here with the gift of hospitality and feeding that could help? And they have some friends that stepped up and helped do the feeding so that the disciples could move in what they were made for. And the people who did the feeding were moving in what they were made for. I want you to think about this week. God has a purpose for each one of us. Each of us have gifts, something that God gives us to do within the church and also outside the church. And we need to be thinking and evaluating what are those gifts so that we can move in what we're made for. In closing, I want to tell you a quick story about my first year at Madison Street United Methodist Church many moons ago. And I was working for an entirely different set of pastors, and at the time, the pastors told me this story. And they said that there was a congregation member who was in the hospital, and the pastors had been covered up with funerals and weddings and visitations, and they had not yet made it to see this congregation member who was in the hospital. So another congregation member went to visit the one who was in the hospital. And the one who was in the hospital looked at the visiting congregation member and said, can you believe the church has not been to visit me? And the visiting congregation member looked back and said, I am the church. I am the church. And I am here to visit you. No, the pastors haven't made it yet. And they will, and they did. But I am the church. She was moving in what she was made for. I want you to think about this week. What gift is God giving you that you could be using inside the church, outside the church? Are you moving in what you're made for? We're going to do a different type of prayer today. We're going to do a pocket prayer. And I want everybody to do it with us. We're going to put a prayer in the air. Then we're going to put it in our pocket and carry it with us this week. And here's the prayer. God Show us our gifts. Let's write it in the air. Go. God, show us our gifts. Now I want you to grab it and stick it in your pocket. And every time you reach in your pocket for something this week, maybe it's the pocket of your backpack. Maybe it's the pocket of your purse. Maybe it's the pocket of your car. I want you to think about that prayer. God, show me my gift. Help me to move in what I'm made for. Amen? Thank you.